Hi guys, I'm going to do a new technique today, and I'm going to call it the snap technique. Um, but I, I got these little elastics. My Walmart is still out of um, elastic. So I got these little baby headbands um, that are elastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the canvas with just black, and then I'm going to put stripes of color, and then I'm going to pull this across and snap it in the paint. And I am gonna do a line, but I'm wondering, now I didn't pay any attention when I cut it, and I really should have, um, where this was, because it might be kinda neat if it was like in the middle or something, but um, I didn't pay any attention um, when I cut it. So that was something I guess I should have done. Okay, so, um, and we'll see how I can do this with messing the ribbons up as I'm trying to pour the, pull the elastic over. I think that's gonna be the challenge. And I have things a little bit thinner than I normally do, although I normally mix my paint thicker than probably a lot of people do, so um, this might just be normal for you, but I thought a little bit thinner would probably help it move better when I snap it. We'll see. Okay, so I have my canvas covered. Now I wanna make sure I get everything in the right spot, but I guess I have that as a guide. So um, I just have some bright colors. I wanted to make sure that they would stand out against the black. And I want quite a bit of paint on here. Not exactly sure um, how this will go. Now this one, this is my Arteza pouring neon. Now this might go a bit green. I might not use a lot of that since it's, I think it's a transparent color. Transparent yellows can go pretty green. Okay, so let's do this side before I put paint over there and let's just see what we get. Um, then I can adjust if I need to. I've got my jacket on here so that I don't get paint all over me. Um, so let's just lay this on top and then we'll give it a good snap. Whoa, that didn't work, did it? All right, now lift it up carefully. Well, that's pretty cool. It could have used a, like a, maybe a, uh, my husband mentioned when I said I was gonna try this, a rubber band. I was afraid I would just snap myself, but he was probably right. Rubber band probably would have been better. Okay, so let's do this one. It did splatter a lot more here, and I'm gonna need to fill in this black right here because it took it off the canvas. The only problem with that is then you don't have the overflow, but that's okay. Okay, so now we need to do it this way. Use some purple, we'll use some different colors on this one. Make sure this is right. So purple. It does have to be pretty straight. I'm gonna use some of that red again though too because I really like that red. It's magenta. Actually, I really like that peach too. So but let's just let's just stick with this. All right. That's pretty cool. Okay, I think I might do another one, although I'm gonna have to see um, how. Let's torch it actually real quick. Maybe I'll leave this. Ooh, that's really cool. I like what that did. So, you know what, I kinda like that. I am gonna fill this in. It does take a little bit of the black off, the background color off, when it snaps. That's really cool. I might try one more, why not? Or should I just tilt it? I don't wanna overdo it, but it's really cool. Maybe I'll just leave it and I'll do another one on a larger canvas and see. Um, so let me know what you think of the snap technique. I think this could be really fun because you could do um, all kinds of different lines and different colors, um, but let me know and we'll see you next time guys. Happy pouring.